What's up guys? I just got this uh, hot dog machine from Nostalgia um, Nostalgia Products, I guess it is. But um, I've really enjoyed their products. I just got a cotton candy machine from them and it's awesome. Um, I'm an 80s kid and have always wanted to um, try to have my own cotton candy machine and never thought it would be possible until now. But um, I love it. It's so much fun. Um, I haven't had it very long. I've had it maybe two weeks. And uh, the I figured out uh, where to get the right cotton candy to where it tastes like it did at the carnival back in the day. Um, it does, and I will uh, show you guys that a little, little later. But right now, we're going to get into this uh, hot dog uh, roller and hot dog machine. And I've never done this before, so we're going to do this together. And I'm going to get the... Uh, instruction manual out here and look through it a little bit. I don't want to bore you with uh, me looking it up and how to put it together so I'm just going to look some stuff up and start to put it together and so that that way you'll get an idea of how it's done. Cool so here's just a quick overview of how it's put together guys so that you know have an idea for yourself how to put it together. There's some more info for you. Awesome, awesome. Alright, okay, it looks pretty easy. It's saying, um, Simply place the stainless steel. There you go. Simply place the stainless steel rollers in the base of the unit, making sure the pins pin fits correctly into the hole on the left-hand side of the base interior. Do not force the pin into the receptacle, or it will strip, and then rollers will not work properly. <clears throat> so it looks like what they're talking about is this little clip here, here, and here. Okay guys, I see what they're talking about. This pin right here goes into the base. Goes into this hole here. And this is basically what spins the rollers. It's like a little motor right there. So here we go. That was pretty easy. I just had to wiggle it in there. At first it wasn't though, but it's in there, so. Here we go, there's that, pretty easy. Now it says fit the four canopy holes, fit the four canopy poles into the holes on each corner of the base. So it would be here, 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 and here. And the four poles are right here. There's three there, obviously, but here is the fourth one. Here we go, four poles going in. Just pushing down a little. It's a little hard at first to put them in. I'm just giving it a little push until it feels snug. There we go. And again, guys, don't worry, my oven is not on. <laughs> so, okay, we got that done. Now we gotta insert the drip tray into the back of the unit. 
Here we go guys, drip tray going into the back of the unit. Easy peasy, kind of like a toaster oven. There we go. Insert drip tray into the slot in the back of the unit. Okay guys, now we're gonna attach the canopy top to the canopy poles. And here we go. Okay guys, here we go, attaching the top. There we go, there's four holes on the bottom here. Right there, right there, and right there. Here we go. <gasps> cool. Easy enough. So guys, I just want to give you an idea of what it measures in case y'all decide to get one. Let's see here. It's like about 13 inches wide. And about 15 inches high. Okay guys, I went to buy some uh, hot dog buns and some hot dogs. Got some really good hot dog buns here. Petridge Farm with a slit already in the uh, bun itself. And got some Johnsonville Flame Grill Bratwurst. Awesome. Never had flavored hot dogs before, but this looked really good, so I grabbed this as well. All right, it says, let's see, make sure I'm looking at this right here. All right, let's see. The dial on the right of the hot dog roller turns on the power, turn to the on position. Okay. The dial on the left regulates the heat temperature from minimum to maximum turn to max. Right. Let the unit warm up for three minutes. Got it. Okay, I'm going to place the hot dog on the rollers. There we go. It says, once the appli appliance has finished heating, place the hot dogs on the stainless steel rollers, evenly, evenly spaced. Up to eight regular sized hot dogs or 12 breakfast sausage links can be cooked at one time. The hot dogs will begin to roll. They will begin to darken in color. The hot dogs should be cooked for 15 to 20 minutes depending on the type and size of the hot dog. The thicker the hot dog, the longer it will take to cook through. So we're going to set this for 20 minutes. I've got a little timer here. Got the zero. Got a little apple timer. It's real cute. 20 minutes. There we go. Yep. 20 minutes. Gonna set that back on the. And we'll be right back. All right, it's still cooking. I just wanted you guys to see it cook for a minute and uh, see the dog there roll on the rollers. Let me zoom in on it for you. It'd be cool to have an LED light in there. There we go. Just let it do 
that for a second. <coughs> Hopefully it'll straighten out once it gets hotter. Alright guys, it's been about 30 minutes, but I'm actually going to put uh, the buns in the bun warmer real quick. slip in it already. Actually see it bubbling up over here. Show where it's cooking real good. We'll see it in just a second here. Looks like it's flattened out a little bit too. Those specks you see there is spinach. It's a spinach hot dog, which I've never had before. And I will let you know how it turns out. Man, that looks good. So it is bubbling a little. I don't know if you can see it. It's not now, but on the ends there, there it's bubbling a little, so it's getting good and hot. I'm just going to let it cook here a little bit more just to give it that finesse, that unique finesse that I can uh, put to it because I'm a, I'm, I'm a pretty good cook, so, so I'm going to let it cook a little bit more. Okay guys, I think I'm going to uh, take it off of there and test her out and see how it tastes. Ooh, the bun is pretty warm too. It's kind of uh, toasted a little, which is awesome. It feels toasted. Feels a little hard, not too hard, and it's uh, heated that up pretty quick just for heads up. So it doesn't look like maybe this thing would uh, heat up at all, but it's it's doing a job. So this this thing was in there probably five minutes, five six minutes, and it's pretty toasted good. Like, not too charred at all, not charred at all actually, but just good and warm and toasted. Awesome. Cool. Some good shredded cheese on there. It's looking good, guys. Wow. All right, guys. I got uh, some pickle shavings on there. They're Clawson kosher dill pickles. I don't necessarily like uh, dill pickles very much. I like the Clawson kind. So I'm going to take a bite of this sucker and let you guys know what I think. Oh, my God. Yum. Mm. Oh my god. 
That is the best tasting hot dog I've ever had. Oh my god, and it's a hundred times better when you cook it at your own place. Oh my god. So good. Oh. Tastes more like a bratwurst than a hot dog. And I can taste the flavor inside the dog as well. So totally recommend this guys. It, it heats your hot dog really good. I will say that while it was rolling on the on the uh, rollers, I put it in the toaster oven for about seven minutes just to speed it up because I got tired of waiting. I was ready to eat that eat it. So I put it on there about uh, five to seven minutes. But this thing does heat up fast. It might not look like it. it might look a little cheap, but um, it does heat up fast. It looks nice. It's got a, a bun warmer. So I totally recommend it. Uh, Nostalgia uh, hot dog roller, hot dog maker. And then also too, something awesome you can do is, you know, put some hot dogs on there just to keep them warm throughout the day. Um, so that later on, if you get hungry, you can grab one or you got people over, you're entertaining. It's awesome to have handy so your friends can just grab and go. So yeah, I totally recommend it. Uh, have fun out there guys always dream big never let anybody tell you you can't do anything and always have a good time peace